As you might be trying to switch over to GA4 and make the transition, you might be looking at your UA reports and asking yourself, where can I find this in GA4? One of these reports that I always look at when I look at an e-commerce website is the one under conversions, under e-commerce, and then here we have our sales performance report. And this shows me quite nicely the ID so I can compare them with the back end of the shop system, for example. Well, inside of GA4, we go to the monetization reports and then we have overview. We have the e-commerce purchases. That's what I want. But uh, I only have item names here and I can't really switch over to any of the IDs. Well, I could always bring up a new explore report but that is a little bit tedious. Let me show you how you can recreate the sales performance reports inside of GA4. So kudos goes out to Markus Bersch who showed this technique on his YouTube channel. Check that out. He also has great videos if you speak German. So I wanted to show this on our channel as well. So how do we go about recreating our beloved sales performance report inside of GA4. Well, first of all, let's take a look. The sales performance report shows us the revenue, shows us the transaction ID and some numbers here as well. It's actually not as straightforward as I wanted it to be, but there's a little workaround on creating it. You don't have to create it from scratch. All you need to do is go over to overview right here in the monetization reports. And then you need to scroll down and find your little summary report card for the purchases revenue by order coupon. Don't ask me why you need to use this one. It is just the right report that you need to click on. And here we have the ability to switch over to transaction ID. So really we have the report available, but it's not yet inside of our little menu here. I don't have the pencil icon here on my demo card. I can edit this one. So I switch over to my demo account of my website. And here I can customize this report. So let's click on this and we can tweak this a little bit. So for example, we are used to maybe the line chart only right here. And so I'm going to get rid of the bar charts and then we can go into the dimensions and what dimensions do we see? We want to have the order coupon maybe as a secondary dimension. So let's go ahead and actually choose our transaction ID as the default. Let's apply this. And then as the metrics, you can add whatever you want. You can recreate these metrics here as well. I won't do this for time's sake. And then we have our line chart up here. And underneath we have now our transaction ID data that we like to have in here. Now you may want to build a summary card of this one. I will just delete those for now to make this clean and also disable the link between our order vouchers report. All right. And then we can go ahead and save this, not to our current report, but save this as a new report. And let's call this our sales performance report. Let's save this. And voila, it says it has saved it to our library. When we go back here into our reports, we don't see our report just yet. So there are there is no sales performance report because it's only in our library right here. You need to click on your library icon. And if you don't see this, you might not have the permissions to do so. And we have now our sales performance report. So how do we get our sales performance report back into our little menu right here for our reports? For that, you need to edit the collection. We have a collection right here. This is our lifecycle collection where I wanna place this under monetization. So I'm gonna go into edit collection. All right, and then you just put in our new report here, the sales performance report. Look for the right spot where you wanna put it. Here is the monetization report. So I'm just gonna place it above the e-commerce purchases and let's save this to our current collection and go back. And now under monetization, we see, should see our sales performance report. And we have gotten back our beloved transaction ID and recreated our sales performance reports. Follow for more tips on Google Analytics 4 and how you can use it correctly in your marketing.